but uh, he survived many things while he was here. One of the first things that I heard about him surviving was uh, at a young age of four or five years old, he was lost in the Catalina Mountains for several days. Uh, he had over 200 people out looking for him, and when they found him, he was fine. He had picked some berries and was pretty happy there. But uh, he went on to survive uh, in the Second World War. He came back from the war and survived a lot of things uh, on the uh, highway patrol, surveying Arizona. And uh, when he came back, he brought uh, with him a newfound love called Karate Do, and established a lot of firsts here in the United States and in the world uh, of karate. Um, opening the first school here in 1946, establishing the United States Karate Association in 1948, first American organization in this country. Uh, established the first karate tournament in 1955 in this country. The first karate textbook in 1958. 1959, the first training film was produced. Uh, 1963, here in Chicago, the first World Karate Championships. In 1968, in Texas, the first professional karate championship was held. He is the father of karate in America, and uh, left us all with many wonderful things to remember him by and to live by. And he continues to teach us through the things that he taught us while he was here as we continue to try to carry them out. Uh, he left the beautiful system of Sri Ru documented in written form, the most complete system in the world uh, for all of us. No matter what your system is, he shared that philosophy and the love of life that he had with everybody. And uh, some of his favorite songs were, I love you. No matter what, uh, when he pushed us hard and uh, got after us when we weren't doing just what he wanted us to do, it was still, I love you. You know, when he was recommending us make us better people. He left us uh, the ability, I believe, to live in peace and harmony and through that to gain the wisdom that he was trying to share with all of us. And uh, through the triangle, which was a symbol that he used throughout his life, Triangle represented many things to him, many different signs. Uh, physical, mental, and spiritual being to live in Bushido, to keep a balance in those three things. Our, our systems of the martial arts were a physical vehicle. Our mental training and studies, and then balancing it with the spiritual and living in unity. Triangle represented spiritual completeness to him. And he has completed that. So it is his memory that goes on and uh, continues to teach us as we think of him and try to carry out his wishes by living in Bushido. live every day as if it were the last. Today I will see a beautiful day and have a great awareness for being alive. Today I will be happy and give happiness to others. Today I will have a definite
definiteness of purpose and positive emotions. Today I will cleanse my heart of all hatred, malice, envy, hostility, and all pessimism. Today I will have nothing but positive thoughts and will not waste one moment of my time. Today I will embrace my family and loved ones and make peace with all those around me. Today I will be resourceful as to getting the cooperation of those who can help me reach my unfinished tasks. Today I will be grateful and thank God for creating me and giving me the strength to endure my daily struggles. Today I will remember that tomorrow is not promised to me and that I will use today effectively and do all things with honor, integrity, sound judgment, and keen perception in case tomorrow is not arrive. self-awareness, perseverance, and dedication to a cause with an intense determination to advocate the practice and all traditions of Karate Do, and to continue to innovate the new generations of new Karate Do. It will have those dedicated to see the light that will take the darkness and illusion and confusion. Through this I am finding the peace, harmony, and wisdom that I seek. My belief for living within the shadow of constant adversity and death, the warrior's way has become my, my life and salvation. The cogent philosophy of this code is to live each day as if it were my last. In the end, I hope to achieve spiritual completeness and stand firmly upon the summit of the home of the winds, souls, and the Robert A. Tree. say to me and says, you know, Pete, you're always last. And somebody has to tap him on the shoulder and remind me, you're always last. And I says, and say it, you know, I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm going to represent you, the association, everybody you ever linked with. Because you taught me. You pull us all here together, different style, different race, color, creed, religion, whatever. And he said, uh, okay, take the ball, you've got it now. We do, we have the ball, and taught us how to uh, make friends, meet certain people, and uh, reminisce, talk about the old times, the, world, the way we were taught, how we used to fight, and the new times. Blending the old and the new. And um, the knowledge that he spread with us, uh, spread to each and one of us, were uh, like the, the other person said, he lived it each day like it was a last. Train with, with one another and uh, you love to cry. And such as said, you love. You know, a man doesn't cry, he is a man. Sit down, talk it over. Something out of his book that uh, was for the instructors. Hope he passed on from instructor to instructor to instructor. 
Brought to knowledge is acquired through good health, spiritual and mental perfection, and enjoyment of life to its fullest with devotion to God, country, and fellow man. Brought to knowledge shall never be given on the basis of physical performance alone, no matter how excellent the ability. Brought to knowledge shall only be given to those whose moral character or characters can thoroughly be trusted. He's out there laughing at us. He once said, you know, Pete, all those other guys are going to be pushing out roses. And you and I, we're going to be pushing out weeds. But I don't think so. We're here, we're happy. Come to uh, talk good things about you. Of course, we have a lot of bad moments, too. But it's that thing. This is a get out there and do it. Do it again. Do it until you got it right. I love it. certainly did live a complete life. He was a very knowledgeable man. I've never known a man that did as much research as he did. Not just for a particular incident or on a whim, but constantly, daily, two or three o'clock in the morning, doing research. They didn't go by that we didn't receive information from headquarters, memos, information, constant pouring of, of information and research. And he was a very physical man. More so than just the kick and punch of, of karate, he expressed himself very physically. He never hesitated to, to throw his arms around the people that he cared about, say, I love you, to express his peace joy and his sadness. He was also a very spiritual man. I'd like to, in the essence of the Trinity, the mental level being variable, the physical level being temporary, and the spiritual level being eternal, I'd like to share with you two of the scriptures that we read at the gravesite memorial that was held the Monday following the Grand Nationals immediately after his death. One from the New Testament and one from the Old. The New Testament, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. And from the Old Testament, the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.
mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never call retreat. He is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. For be swift my soul to answer him, be jubilant my feet, my God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea, with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make them free. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on.
next open eulogy, as part of the open eulogy, is a time when anyone that would like to come up and share some of your thoughts. You know, uh, we're just you're welcome to do that. mind and his body and his heart to all of us, whether we were that style of karate or not. Our teacher, Tsukichi Oda in Okinawa, Japan, sends his feelings to all of you. Speaking for him. Tria Sensei was mentor. He was friend, he was guide, he was husband, he was father. He was, is, and he shall always be the great warrior. Professor Trias, O-sensei, 
always took the time, always cared, not just about the people involved in Shoryu, but every martial arts system, and karate do, kempo do, all of them. Some of the talks I had with him, and, uh, he always took the time. Um, when I came in here uh, just a little bit ago, I talked to uh, Mr. Rubino, and I, I, my feelings are that Sensei Trias, with your help, can <coughs> live forever, become strong. The USKA, Shoryu, Karate, sport, helping you. It is in your hands. And the, one of the comments I made is that the, this group, the group of people today, represents, I hope represents Karate Do for the future, all of you. And uh, I, I, I've had so much respect for the man, and I have so much respect for all of you. Please, in the spirit of Sensei Trias, spirit of Professor Nikos, Professor Young, Kosho Ruru, Shuri Ruru, all Karate Do. Continue leading and guiding martial artists worldwide. You, Professor Trias, have done that. Professor Trias is not done. He's here too. I think he's given us all that kind of ability to go on and lead. You're all great people. I want you to know that. Kosharugu, that's what we feel about you. You're all great. And you're all great because of our sense of um, I would like to present a, a scroll on behalf of the Kosharugu people. Two more scroll from Mr. Walker. Kelly is 41 years of age, 
ranks are seventh down in Okinawa Shuri Ryo Karate, fifth down in Kodokan Judo, and holds the second down in Kendo. She began her study of karate at the age of five. Now, at the moment of his passing, Grandma's trios promoted Dr. Kelly to the rank of ninth down, and she is at this point today the highest ranking true real practitioner in the world. Aside from the certification shown in the following pages, Pinnacle Karate. Dr. Kelly also had the opportunity to meet and be in attendance with some of Grandmaster Trias' colleagues, including Choshin Shibana, Hanke Toyama, Kosei Tanako, Night Dan Kendo, Anken Wezu, Majike Koizumi, Night Dan Budokwai Judo, M. Haiju, and Jajui Yamada, both Night Dan Kurokan Judo. Shoyun Miyagi, Hironori Otsuka, Hohan Soken, Yasuhiro Konishi, Shinkin Makoto Gima, and many others. Dr. Kelly personally trained for many months before their deaths with Yasuhiro Konishi in Japan and Tatsuo Shimabuku in Okinawa. In the event of any untimely mishap with regard to the Grand Master, Dr. Kelly would be assisted by very capable, strong, high-ranking active USK officials as a cabinet of advisors of the organization, and she will continue to conduct the affairs of the organization to the height and extent of her father's professional efficiency. So I would like to urge everyone to pledge to continue the work of the Grand Master to continue as a unified body under the direction of the person that he chose as head of the Shuri system and as inheritor of the United States Graduate Association. He was following her leadership at this point and fulfilled the, the wishes of her father to stay together as one. I am from Hawaii. Uh, I came all the way here to pay respect to one of the greatest uh, men on in the karate uh, field there. And uh, I also represent the United States uh, Kempo Institute of Hawaii and the and I'm going to miss him very much, especially his annual visit to me when he goes to the Asian country for his regular uh, tournament and visit. And I respected that man very highly. As the father of karate and he was a very caring person and his love went to everyone and we gonna miss that.
want to have a compi, a clinical compiler for sensei in a group and uh, sing another of his favorite songs, God Bless America. And uh, Mr. Snell can lead us in that. Uh, but on the back table, we have water, ginger ale, and sake. Choose what you wish. Uh, we could have this group uh, on the side, file back, get a glass of your choice in the center group, in this group, if you would, and come back. Uh, and we can sing God Bless America together and have a company. The words to this song are, God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night for the light from above. I think that you know the rest. If you sing with me. God bless America, land that service for today. Let me just say, let us continue. Thank you. 